We're back. Season two. It starts now. Yes. <laughs> Does anybody else wait for their man to see like this? Stop it. Get some help. Hi folks, so we're back and it's season two and we're here with a new video. And what have you got in store, you ask? Well, here we go. I've ordered a package today from a company I've never used before and I've been in close contact with the person who runs this, Claire. It's from Mantis Marvels. Now, they've got a website, they've also got a great Facebook group and I want to say a big shout out, Claire, for sending me these mantises. I've got three in total, so I'll be pre-recording these today and posting them up in Staggered. So, don't think that I haven't changed my clothes for about a week, so they're all going to be pre-recorded. But the one we're doing today is the African Lion Sprout the Mantis. Now, I know it's not the readiest that I said I was going to do in the beginner species part three, but I think this is still there as a good starter species, and these two grow really chunky, the females do. And she sent me out three mantises. We have got a Peruvian Deadleaf Mantis. We've got the actual Vietnamese Ghost Mantis, which I've been after for so long and obviously the African line. We're also going to be doing a video later on another dead leaf mantis. We are also be going to be covering an orchid mantis in later videos, and we're going to be having a look at some enclosures as well. So let's get a little look at this, but before we do, I just want to show you that the send outs with these packages, they've all come great, heat packed, um, information in there, the sizes and what they're feeding on, which I think is a nice little touch. And they've sent me a little goodie bag, which has had some sweets in, some love arts and I'll give them to the kids and some great little stickers here um, we've got an orchid mantis we've got a dead leaf mantis a green mantis which I don't want to say it is which is bad but you know I'd always say spread the mantis and another sticker from Mantis Marvels and this is from a group called Busy Bee Prince UK so I'll try to pop their link in as well because they're on Instagram and I think it's Easty or Esty, I don't know I've never used it I've heard of it but I've never used it so we're going to be covering the what is in my opinion the best beginner species part three so what we're going to do is we're going to get this girl out i think it's a girl she's pretty chunky for her size i'd say she's like pre-sub adult claire thinks she is as well and uh, we'll go from there Hi folks, so we're back and there's a little look at the little beauty and as I can say they feed great, they're very aggressive with the prey so you never have any worries with these. Now temperature wise I used to keep my spread the mantises anywhere between 24 to 27 degrees celsius. I have heard they can tolerate lower but it's just how I like to keep mine. Humidity wise I sprayed mine about two to three times a week just up the side of the tank here. They might drink a few droplets but they get most of the stuff from the prey because these are really good eaters. Um, I've never struggled with having any issues with them shedding but these accidents can happen. It's, sometimes it's not your fault. Just make sure you're not overcrowding the enclosure so they've got the room at the top to expand. And I tell you what, when these get into this like, last malt, <laughs> it's really surprising how much um, junk they can fit in that trunk is it's like they come out of it and you think how have you done that but yeah humidity wise um, two to three times a week spraying keep mine around 24 to 27 degrees celsius um, i feed them locusts mainly um, they will eat 
green bottles, blue bottles with ease, pretty much anything you put in there. I avoid crickets, obviously. And yeah, they, they're really, really nice mantises. I know this is going to grow really, really big, and that's what you want. Great starter mantis, always want to come out, very inquisitive and they just grow to be really photogenic which is great for me because it's something I want to cover in my videos. I've got a body a camera off one of my friends so I can film myself doing macro because um, it's something I want to show you. So this is a species that I really would advise along with budwing ghost mantis and there is a few more I'm going to be covering. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe. Share if you're feeling generous. Catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.